You know what happens in a marriage when there's dark psychology running rampant? What happens is people use your emotions against you. They know that you live in fear. They know that you avoid conflict at all costs. They know that you'd rather placate and avoid having those hard conversations. But see, right now, conflict is a liability inside your life. But conflict becomes an asset later on when you have the right tools, right skills, and right support. Why? Because conflict is the gateway to something new. Conflict is the conversation, right, that ignites transformation because you're able to engage in a dialogue, a dyad with another person that can help you get to the root of the problem. When you have dark psychology going on in your life, when somebody's using dark psychology on you, whether it's guilt tripping, fear mongering, coercion, blame shifting, gaslighting, projection, whatever it is, all of this is designed to do one thing. It's designed to help them avoid how they feel about themselves, to avoid the vulnerability within because they're completely intolerant of shame and guilt and they're completely intolerant of their own fallibility, their own weaknesses, their own right shortcomings, where they fall short inside their life. They're intolerant of looking at that. Why? Because they don't want to look at it themselves. So God forbid you reflect that back to them. So what do they do? They go back to the emotional blackmail. They go back to reminding you of obligations from 10 years ago that you didn't fulfill and how you're somehow indebted to them now. You owe me. What do they use? They use the future potential consequences to basically threaten you and manipulate you emotionally to prevent you from actually moving forward to do something, to prevent change inside your life, to prevent you from setting boundaries, you from drawing the line, from you from being assertive, you for standing up for yourself. Don't allow other people to use your emotions against you. You are in control of your emotional life. You are in control of your emotional world. Don't live in fear. Courage cannot exist in the absence of fear. So if you're feeling afraid, this is where courage begins.